Lambros dashing down the wing, takes a bounce. He is on one today. A big mark inside 50 there and more dash. He is back from Europe and the Dingley team are marching on to September with Lambros in form. But wait, that could be a career-ending knockout. Lambros the narrator is going to be narrating the day of Lambros again. What a coincidence. Two weeks in a row, you would not believe that. We started off yesterday by eating some really nice food for dinner. Now, Steph, let's cut to that. We're back for another segment of Steph Chefs. Hopefully this weekend, Locke can actually get a kick because I don't know what happened last weekend. Just didn't get near it. But I feel like he's going to have 35 tomorrow and a goal. That's my prediction. And the Dingoes will get a win. So got some rice, pumpkin this week. So changing it up from the sweet potato, some grass-fed mince, Mexican bowl. Should be on here, Locke. Let's get it. Let's go. Thank you, Chef Steph. That was absolutely phenomenal. The next thing we did was wake up bright and early on the Saturday morning and smash breakfast. Now let's show you guys that. It is currently 6.30. So we woke up about 45 minutes ago and now we're cooking some eggs. So getting those eggs in about seven and a half hours in before the game. Usually I go five, but I did it last week. I had three and I want to stick with that because I felt super good. So they're just brewing up there. We'll see how they go. So this is the feed with three eggies there, half an avocado, a banana. Usually it's an apple, but I had an orange. I've already munched half of that, sorry. And uh, some peanut butter as well, so some fats before the game. That should prep us up perfectly nice and light. After breakfast, I went on an amazing walk with Snowy Bear. Absolutely love him to bits. Snowy, He's me, out of the car. Yeah. He's not getting out of the car. <laughs> we are currently having a walk on the ground this morning. So it's really good to get some sunlight. First thing on game day, relax the mind, do something that's super, super chilled and um, just enjoy the day boys, embrace it. It's the best day of the week. As you guys know, it wouldn't be a Lambros game day vlog without my goals. Now I'm pretty G'd up today boys. I can't actually read out these goals. They are definitely not PG and suitable for this channel, but just believe me when I say that today, my number one goal is to have a positive influence on the result. That's pretty much it. That's enough said. Today we are in the zone and serious. Let's go. After the walk, came home and had a coffee and tasted the holy water. Oh guys, it was phenomenal. Alrighty boys, we are doing the coffee segment of the game day vlog. Now I've got my little Winnie the Pooh cup and secret ingredient. Look in there, honey. Add like two teaspoons of honey. Makes the biggest difference in the world to your coffee. Green means go. Not going to make the same mistake as last week. Look at that. The new coffee machine Oof. in action. Boys, this is going to do me absolute wonders today. We have also just frothed up some milk. So that's like frothy milk. That's going to be insane as well. So if we get like this out of here. Oh, get in there. And then we put like... Oh, actually, I'm going to stir it around. Stir it around first, boys. Then you want to add the froth milk into the actual coffee itself, which I've just put like barely any milk in there. I'm gonna scoop that out and get it on there. We are gonna do the coffee taste test review. So it's a new coffee machine. Oh, that is unbelievable. Caramel coffee, two teaspoons of honey, and an absolute Winnie the Pooh cup. Can't beat it, boys. You actually can't beat that. Steph, mate, what are you filling up your water with just there? This is some reverse osmosis water. This filter, it cost us $800. It's definitely worth it though. There's no microplastics in the water. If you want to optimize your performance, highly recommend. You will be absolutely thriving after drinking this holy water. They reckon they get this straight from Jerusalem where Jesus was born. <laughs> Taste test of the holy water. Oh yeah, that's unreal. That's holy. <laughs> that's holy. Very Welcome back to another game day vlog. This one's going to be massive. Ladies and gents, just for reference, if the seniors lose today, we're going to be playing in an elimination final next week. But if we win, we've got a double chance. So it is massive for the seniors. What about the 19s today? We're playing Bentley, the top side for the last two years. They are undefeated the last two seasons. So yeah. huge challenge for us, but we've already locked in that top three spot. So not much riding on this game. This vlog, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be absolutely epic. I promise you that. We've got heaps of fans coming down to the game. The boys are going to be drinking on the sidelines. It's going to be insane. It's going to be a yeah. movie. 
I reckon you should be able to run a little bit faster today. You're freshly trimmed, so it's yeah, taking off a little bit of weight. I look like five years younger as well. I look like a junior, but um, yeah, freshly trimmed. It was getting a bit disgusting, so happy with that. Very excited for today, Ruzki. Let's get the win. Let's, Let's go. go. Yeah, 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 Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come in. Come Today, it's the opportunity we've been waiting for, boys. This is what we want. This is our fucking moment, boys. We're playing against a top side who hasn't lost a game in two years. And this is our moment. Don't be phased by it. Want to be out there today, boys. Want to do something good. Want to get around your teammates. It's our day, boys. They've come to our home ground. There's no fucking way they're leaving this with a win today, boys. We're going to get out on the hill this afternoon after a big win. And it stems from the first contest. Peacock. Cookie, Rhino, Moran, I'm looking at you boys. The contest starts in the midfield. That first contest of the day, we make our presence known. Hit them we make it known, we hit them hard boys, we put that pressure on, and we create excitement once again this week, and we make them move for the fucking loss boys. Let's go, come on! Oh, <laughs> Robbie, the old man, mate, what are your predictions before the game, the 9 to 19s? Yeah, just having a have a look at him and see what it's like, and hopefully we'll get home in a couple of weeks' time. Let's go. Pretty yeah. chilled game style. Yeah, it's 19s as well, they're going to have a game today. Come on, Jolly. Go, Jolly! 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 Good Good you boys already know 10.30, that means chicken and rice time. So we've weighed out 115 grams of rice today. A bit weird, I should probably have 100 grams, but I thought I needed that little bit extra. And then we have 100 grams of chicken there as well, which is going to be awesome for the game. So a really light meal, chicken and rice with a bit of cheese, a bit of tomato paste on top. That's going to G me up for the game. And as always, guys, the football shenanigans, pre-game prep. You guys know every week I'm all over the place trying to find my shorts, find, trying to find my socks, trying to find my head. Where is my head at? I'm going to show you guys what I do before the game and let's show you guys that right now. Let's go. Okay, boys. Now, Sussex out. Finals coming up, creeping around the corner. So I'm going to chuck on the new boots. We've got the Menace boots here. So size 10. They're going to be absolutely cream. And just to show you guys like how many boots I actually have. Um, I don't know if you guys can see, but I think there might be about... 20 pairs of boots up there so all different types of boots um i usually go through about two to four a season um but yeah today we're going with the menace so these babies are absolutely sharp and they're going to prime me really light boot i recommend not training in them because they do break down a little bit quickly but to play in them boys whew, you'll be light and quick just finished up with a trim because a little girl at placement during the week Thought I was in gear, my hair was that long. So I thought, you know what? I've got to get a trim. I've got to freshen this up. And guys, obviously, you know, fruity socks are on. We have gone with the pop stick icy pole ones today. That is going to get me through the game. And obviously, I actually lost another pair of socks last week. They're actually footy socks. So I'll be wearing blah, blah, blah socks, which are going to be a little bit embarrassing today. They're not actually footy socks, but you know, what can you do sometimes? Boys, welcome to the Lambros headquarters. This is our gym area here. We have a couple of little things around just to G us up in the off season to get large and to get primed for footy. How's this weather going today? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, a little bit of a breeze. Uh, a bit of an overcast, but I am seeing a little bit of blue. And when there's a little bit of blue in the sky, there's a little bit of joy in the group. It is going to be an amazing day, guys. Now you may be sitting there wondering, what do I bring to a footy game? What do you need to bring to optimize your performance? Now, for myself, I never bring my footy socks, but I heavily advise bringing footy socks because every week I'm running around in footy socks 
just because I keep losing the pairs. So make sure you bring your footy socks. Now, what we need is bee juice. So get some really pure organic honey and chuck about five teaspoons. So five servings of honey in a little container, like preferably glass container, but this is plastic. Um, don't really want to get into that argument, but bring honey. Next thing is a banana, as we call in Australia, a banana. So moderate size, I mean, moderate size banana, two hours before the game. So that's really good carbs. Beautiful. Last thing is diary. Keep looking at this. Look at it at halftime. Look at it before the game. This is your best friend. You want to write down your goals in this diary. And the final thing is electrolytes. Bring this to the game and have it about an hour and a half before the game. Two scoops of an electrolyte. That is going to get you absolutely buzzing. Now, if you're anything like me, the chances are that you struggle to get a really good night's rest before game day. Well, at least I used to. And that's because I was so excited. But one of the reasons why is because of this enemy over here, AKA coffee. Now, don't drink coffee after 12 afternoon the day before. The reason why is because what happens is naturally in the morning, we have a lot of adenosine in our brain and adenosine receptors essentially um, are blocked by caffeine. So if you have a lot of caffeine the night before, they're gonna bind to those adenosine receptors and essentially stop adenosine from acting, making you less tired. So if you do this at night time, it's literally going to fuck up your whole sleep cycle. You may be able to sleep eight hours, but you're not going to get a really good night's rest. And another thing to add to that is coffee can essentially help with your motivation. So I would advise having a coffee first thing in the morning on game day. Don't smash it too much because caffeine can go straight through your guts. But if you have like 200 milligrams of caffeine on game day, Caffeine can actually promote the release of dopamine, which can correspond to an increase in epinephrine. And epinephrine is like the fight kind of chemical, so fight or flight type, type beat. You probably learned that in high school. And that epinephrine actually can help with our performance. So epinephrine is involved in like pursuit towards goals and motivation. So really important. Moral of the story, if you're below the age of 18, you're probably listening to this and it sounds like absolute gibberish. Don't have coffee if you're below the age of 18, not promoting it. But if you are an older senior player, have one coffee in the morning on game day, potentially a little bit of caffeine pre-workout or a little bit of a caffeine tablet before the game. Let's get it. Thanks for listening to the Huberman Lambros section of the video. <laughs> Boys, Steph and I have just bought a massive whiteboard. And on one side, we're going to have our goals for the month and some really important things. And on the other side, we're going to have quotes of our best hate comments so anyone who leaves like hate comments we put it on and we have a look at it david goggins inspiration from you now let's ask the board oh, let's go oh where's he, where's he going let's get it sammy oh, Look at that, Fergie. Is that herpes on your back? Hey, no, not me. You can... Mr. Post, mate, what is that? <laughs> what have you done, man? Straight to hospital, you done. Woo! 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 Welcome back, bro, to another game day vlog. Now, I'm wearing number six, as always, Lambros on the far wing. This is the first contest of the game, and you'll see me get the footy here nice and early. So I got the ball there, got a nice handball out, release handball. It is so nice when you touch the ball first thing in the day. I was feeling awesome for today, and bang, straight away took a really nice mark down forward i worked really hard forward from the wing and uh, i went back been practicing the goal kicking and did not hit that well at all literally missed that that was terrible um but i got a handball out there as well and at this point in the quarter i'm thinking i'm just going to keep working and pursuing 
I've taken a bounce there. I was always going to take a couple of bounces. It was the greatest of all days. And um, this is me again, just getting it forward as well. Now, guys, thank you so much for watching. I don't know what it is, but for some reason, you are literally so much more kind than anyone else's subscribers. Like, everyone else who... Like, everyone, literally everyone who pretty much, like, like watches this video literally comments and likes it. It's crazy, the proportion of people. Um, so, it just goes to show, like, what really good fans um, and people you guys are. So, thank you so much. And please let me know what you think of this performance today. It gets a little bit crazy later on, so stay tuned. I am here in the middle there. I got a long driving kick long, and they intercept marked it. I don't know if that was my fault or not they intercept marked that. Like, it was a decent kick. Um, but that was all right. This one here, pick up the ball and bang. Now, that's one thing you really got to do. As soon as your head's over the ball, just like give it out and dish it straight away. Really important. That one there, I got a quick kick out and hit up our forward line player. And I've started well, man. Like I am feeling bloody good right now. Like doing some really good stuff. I'm in there again, in there in the contest. Got like the little handball out to the Ruckman. But I'm everywhere right now, like in this first term. Um... And there I am again, got the ball and hit up a really nice target in the middle. Absolutely love that. And that's pretty much quarter time there. This is what the huddle looked like. One, two, three, four. Hey boys, it's not fucking over either. Nah, it's 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 fuck over. Over. You know they're gonna come. come on, that man's on the field! <laughs> Let's go! Oh no. Jumping into the second quarter. I got a really quick kick in the middle there and I actually meant to do that. That was silly. I should have gone long to the square, but I did actually meant to like kick that to Freeman there off the side of my boot. I know it looks really, really bad there, but um yeah, anyways. Um and just got a tackle there. You guys have been saying that I need to increase my pressure act. So that's something that I really have been taking on. Literally every comment I actually try to implement. And I'm just running here, guys, in my element, like a cheater in the jungle, just getting out and just going. Like, I absolutely love that running. But yeah, guys, comment on what you think I should do more of in games or what I need to, you know, do less of or whatever, because it really does help. And I do implement a lot of tips, which actually help me in the games. Uh, against the Bentley the first time, it actually helped me win the team the game and keep the winning goal. Uh, because I like sucked into a contest and then sucked out of one. And that was all from literally one of your comments. So thank you so much for hitting up those comments. So still in a second there, long kick down the line. And um, I'm feeling pretty good at this point of the game. Like I am reasonably still feeling fresh. Um, and I'm thinking like, you know, this is going to be like a great day at the office. Um, like I'm moving well. I'm feeling light. I've got my brand new menace boots on. You guys saw those boots before the game. Let me know what boots you guys wear or like if there's any really good boot out there because um, I've tried a couple and the menaces have worked for me because they're super, super light. Um, and I'm just taking on people right now. Like I'm just hit up a couple targets on the inside. Um, I've got the ball out here and I just went long and wide to codes. Cody almost marked that, but that was all right created a really, really nice contest. And I don't actually know what happened to that footage there, but I actually kicked it to that bloke. And this is it, boys. Look at me here. Bang. That was it, bro. Al finito. Lights out. Don't remember a single thing what happened, man. I don't remember the second quarter of the game. Straight out like a light. I did finish the game with 21 touches, 7 goal assists, 9 contested possessions, and a knockout. We won the game and we're into finals, but my God, it was bad. <laughs> lads i'm with all the boys here boys um have you had a good day today yeah right who thinks you're gonna win the granny this year collingwood collingwood oh, no, no. collingwood no, i no, no, no. honestly think that way thank you thank you i'm with riles here mate thank you so much for coming out today thank tell you. us where tell us where you're from um from Berwick. From Beric, mate, you've come a long way to be here today. Thank you so much. We absolutely love the support. Mate, tell us what your um, most exciting thing is when you watch the vlogs. 
Oh, it's just the dedication grinding to football and all that stuff. Yeah, mate, when we do get merch, it's coming your way for free, mate, on the house. You're absolutely legend. Mate. Thanks once again, bro. Appreciate it. <laughs> there we have it, ladies and gents. Another game day vlog done and dusted. Thanks so much for all the support down at the ground today. It was unbelievable. So many boys down at the Oval supporting the Lambos. Got the job done in the seniors. Double chance against Cranny next week at Resi Park. So massive game. Make sure you get down to that. Show some support and love. Unfortunately, Lock can't film the outro. He's fairly concussed at the moment. It was a pretty dirty knock. I honestly reckon that bloke should have been straight red carded. I was having a go at them um, on the sidelines there, and the coach came and had a dip at me because uh, some, you know, some interesting words going around. But absolute dog act from that bloke there. So yeah, pretty pretty stiff not to to get a straight red. But anyway, Dingoes are marching on. Bentley knocked out. Their season's done. Fuck them. On to the next. Cranny, here we come. Let's go, dingoes.